Okay, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot see you. Well, I can see you, but I have to try anyway. Um, okay, so uh, today uh, we have a topic uh, combining masculinity with femininity. Okay, it's a very, uh, although uh, seeming an easy and kind of understandable subject, although when you're actually looking into that, it's uh, uh, a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, different things come into the mind and it's not very easy to explain. Uh, but uh, we tried uh, to put it and summarize for you uh, into uh, understandable uh, kind of foil um, because we try to again explain it in an uh, easy way, right? Uh, so we don't get distracted by a lot of uh, thoughts. Anyway, um, as you can see, I have a little board. Uh, I, will, I will show you uh, a bit closer uh, to you later, so maybe you can screenshot it. Uh, but we put just uh, uh, some explanation of uh, 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 what we believe uh, is uh, uh, masculine and what is feminine. Okay, uh, so first, first, first we have uh, masculine is uh, logical and feminine is uh, intuitive. Okay, so if uh, uh, I'll just quickly run uh, through that before we start doing anything. Okay, so uh, logical, yeah, uh, when we look at the male dancing, yeah, masculine dancing. Uh, of course, it's always, I'm sure you also, when you look at other couples, it's very nice to see that the male is uh, logical in his action, in his own action, in his action or direction uh, towards his uh, uh, lady, okay? And uh, uh, the lady, feminine side, is uh, intuitive, okay? So um, uh, her movement is more... Uh, intuitive towards his uh, 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 partner, his male partner, okay? That is pretty clear, okay? We all do that, but again, we need to somehow <laughs> summarize, okay? Uh, masculine dancing is uh, very, my, uh, uh, very uh, much based on the mind, okay? Of course, to be logical, guys, <laughs> it has to start from your mind, okay? So, um, and that is uh, uh, actually, I remember um, uh, uh, Tona, dear Tona, uh, she always uh, uh, taught me to think in advance. Yeah, think of what is coming next, maybe uh, two, three, even four, five steps in advance. Yeah, so for that, you have to uh, have a very sharp mind, okay, and not being just in the moment and kind of catching up with your steps. You have to have a clear sharp mind knowing exactly what you are doing next okay and therefore also uh, giving uh, your lady an opportunity or the sense that you are in control of what you are doing so guys the second one is your mind okay very sharp mind feminine side is more of a sense sensuality okay because uh, the lady uh, uh, cannot think for the guys, unfortunately, guys. Uh, as many of you tend to think that the girl is uh, have to decide for you, you are wrong, okay? Uh, so the feminine side is more uh, sensual, okay? Uh, masculine side is, uh, uh, of what I think, is uh, uh, pretty much risk-taking, okay? So we guys, especially if we... Uh, talk about, um, mm, of course, we take all the dances and uh, you can find, I'm sure, in your routines, a lot of very uh, striking uh, moments, a lot of energetic moments, um, uh, which you have to take risk at, okay? Otherwise, if you uh, hardly dragging your ass around the floor, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, very difficult for the lady to follow you, okay? So we have to be pretty much risk-taking. And of course, if we're talking about 
uh, uh, very progressive dances as uh, uh, samba or uh, paso. Yeah, we have to take the risk in uh, movement, in uh, um, the volume of your movements, the energy, the space of your movement. Yeah, we have to take risks. Okay, and the feminine side is nurturing. Okay, so she has to nurture our risk taking energy or volume and so on. Um, I'm not saying that the ladies should not take risk themselves, themselves, of course, but mainly if we talk and take the whole picture of uh, masculine and feminine, of course, probably about nine, 95%, it will be uh, a male who is uh, taking the risk in the couple. Okay, uh, then uh, we come to the next topic is uh, uh, from the uh, masculine side, male side is achieving, achieving. So if uh, straight away it comes to my mind, uh, if, um, uh, uh, if uh, you take some, uh, um, uh, some positions, let's say in Roomba or Paso, yeah, we first of all we achieving the position uh, and we put the lady there and for the lady she has to experience that moment okay uh, it straight away it comes to my mind uh, uh, for example uh, 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 mr surkov and melia you know when he turns her and she's slowly experiencing her pointing of the leg yeah, you can clearly see that uh, the male, the partner, masculine side, we have achieved that moment with logic, with mind, with risk taking. And then the lady, yeah, being intuitive, sensual, yeah, and experiencing that moment. Yeah, yeah. First of all, is that when I say something, I think you should clearly see. Uh, within yourself or of what you saw the picture on uh, the dance floor on the competitive floor of what we mean okay because of course we understand the word masculine and we understand the word feminine but we uh, uh, we should clearly notice uh, the details and actually different uh, 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 different subjects of masculinity or femininity Right, so that you can use that. Okay, the next point, uh, ne next part is controlling. Okay, of course, uh, 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 what we mean, uh, what we mean by that is, uh, uh, in any dance, you can uh, see that the lady uh, does a lot more steps than the male partner. Okay, so therefore, uh, uh, a male partner yeah should be pretty much in control of what he's doing himself where he is towards his partner and being in control of what the lady is doing because a lot of the times the lady have twice or three times more steps than we do so we have to be in control of that yeah and again logical mind yes comes into that okay so the lady yeah, while the man is controlling, controlling, yeah, uh, the lady, the feminine side, is being, okay? Uh, you can see a lot of the times, like, for example, we cannot both control, because, for example, if we stand there and if I control the moment, and, for example, Polina is also in control, control me, control me, yeah, and then we kind of being stuck. So, for example, I give the sense of controlling of that weight. And Polina or the lady, yeah, you are being there, right? Yeah. So of course you can also come into the point of where uh, I have achieved that moment, yeah. And when I achieve the feminine side is experiencing, yeah, she is experiencing that moment which I control, yeah, yeah. So you can uh, you can actually describe your actions or your steps 
in different ways. Yeah, and I'm sure for a, uh, for all of you, uh, all those things will be different for some. Yeah, some will be thinking about actually controlling that, controlling the ladies' movement. Yeah, for some will be, for example, achieving. Yeah, when you have achieved and you let the lady, for example, finish the moment or sense the moment. Yeah, I will show you that later so you can screenshot. Okay, uh, okay the next moment is for male is intellectual yeah intellectual and for the feminine side is expressive okay uh, when we come to that i think it all comes to uh, actually your uh, uh, um, energy expressing or uh, let's say facial expressions okay and uh, straight away it comes to my mind uh, uh, when you feel a little bit uncomfortable when uh, uh, male dancers are pretty much expressive in themselves in their movement and uh, uh, in in the facial expressions yeah so that a little bit um, uh, puts you in distance with them yeah uh, and it's pretty much the opposite side when you see uh, a male partner in whatever he does in any of his uh, um, uh, um, uh, expressions that it's very intellectual yeah I'm, uh, I hope you understand what I mean is that any of uh, uh, of expression of the hand any expression of the body is very intellectual rather than you know expressing like this yeah so if we talk about the masculine side of the movement then your movement should be intellectual yeah your facial expression should be intellectual yeah when the feminine side is more expressive so therefore even in the in the fantasy yeah for example uh, uh paulina can be a lot more expressive in in her hand uh, can you, yeah, yeah. In, for example, in the hand, in the facial expression here, and then when, whenever she's closing, yeah, she can be uh, expressive here, right, in the body. Yeah, I'm sure you can see that if we talk about uh, 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 a masculine side, um, <laughs> I will try <laughs> to show you that uh, if I try to repeat whatever, uh, when we both decide to be expressed okay <laughs> yeah so it's gonna look strange if i decide to do the same thing here and then yeah something here it can be done it can be done of what i just did it can't be done but your approach to that that is for the guys it should be more intellectual because whenever I see that you are expressing yourself so much that you lose again of all those things that we've been talking before that is being logical, meaning the direction towards your partner, even in direction, even in connection to your own body. Yeah. Uh, again, achieving all the actions that you do. Yeah. So by expressing yourself too much, yeah you're losing yeah all the actions yeah you're losing the control yeah so your movement can can look maybe similar to that but the movement is more intellectual rather than expressive where the feminine side is of course more expressive more open and so on Okay, then we come to the next part is uh, uh, masculine is more giving, feminine is more receiving. Um, you should say that, of course, the guys, yeah, uh, we can also receive, we can, but 
we are talking here of uh, uh, what is mainly happening on the dance floor. Yeah. Uh, if I am taking myself into the competitive floor, um, I am for sure more giving than receiving. I am more controlling rather than adaptive to something, right? I am more intellectual rather than just coming out and expressing myself, okay? Because I have um, mm, yeah, things to do. <laughs> let's say okay so giving and receiving yeah uh we can uh we can talk um uh, about action reaction yeah blah 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 but uh also a nice nice thought guys because uh, uh even we just uh, uh, not so long ago yeah we were uh, watching some uh videos of dance couples uh yeah and it came clearly to uh our eyes uh, what is the difference between uh, uh, top couples and the rest? Yeah, sorry if I call somebody the rest, but you know what I mean. Uh, the difference between top couples, yeah, and the rest <laughs> is that you can clearly see that uh, the um, the impulse that is given to the lady and when the lady is uh, always a continuation of the movement rather than always dancing at the same time yeah so put it put it simply that way yeah about giving receiving action reaction yeah if you will look at some top couples you will clearly see that there is always um uh, a moment of uh, action and reaction there is always a, a, a dialogue yeah between the two bodies the two actions right uh, have a look especially you can clearly see that uh, of course of course rumba uh, but cha-cha samba when there are some this uh, whipping moments yeah uh, do you understand yeah like whipping moments when when the guy is, and then the lady is finishing, yeah, rather than being at the same time, yeah. So you see, I give impulse, yeah. I give, I'm being in control of my, and then the lady finishing, yeah. I give, and then the lady is finishing. You understand? Mm, maybe you don't understand, but you can see that, yeah. That is the most important thing, actually, yeah. Until you see that for yourself, until you see that what are all the couples are doing well, and you see that maybe you are not, until then, you will not be able to correct yourself, yeah? You will not be able to become better, yeah? Because you have to see that, yeah? Understanding is, uh, yeah, something not, not for, the, for the dancers, I would say, yeah? <laughs> the dancer, uh, should do it yeah rather than know it okay and then the last one the last one yeah um, uh, uh, masculine uh, masculine side is being dominant and the feminine side is being adaptable okay uh, dominant uh, when it uh, comes to uh, dominance of course, it uh, uh, it straight away uh, comes to the uh, to the body position. Yeah, uh, especially you can clearly see that in uh, uh, in paso. Yeah, can you imagine if we both trying to be dominant towards each other? Yeah, so most most of the times it will be a guy who is dominant above the lady, and the lady is more adaptable. Yeah and I am dominant, right? And the lady is more adaptable, correct. Uh, of course, Roomba, uh, well, actually any dance, yeah. So, and I try to summarize all of that and just put it in one word for you. So if we take all of those, 
I clearly understand that it's a discipline that the male dancers must have and which I see that are lacking on the dance floor. It's a discipline. Discipline of the mind, yeah? Discipline of a logical thought towards their bodies and therefore the body of the ladies. Um, being disciplined in controlling, disciplined to the steps, disciplined to the leading, understanding the leading, and so on. And the feminine side, if we take that they have to be intuitive, sensitive, nurturing, experiencing, being expressive, receiving, adaptable. Yeah. Uh, here I summarize it all for you into word, one word of creativity. Yeah. Um, so there is, a, a, there is a, actually a big difference for me. I'm not saying that male should not be creative in his own movement or action or in uh, risk-taking moments, of course. But for the male dancer, the first one is a discipline, yeah? Otherwise, creativity can take you <laughs> somewhere, yeah, on the, on the, on the wrong uh, uh, direction, yes. Um, uh, yeah, so please remember that I'm not, uh, I'm not taking away any of the things of the feminine side, but the majority, uh, should be disciplined, right? And the feminine side, of course, creativity, uh, uh, it has to be disciplined, right? O otherwise, again, uh, your body movement or, uh, or any of the creative actions, leg actions, uh, positions, and so on, of course, it has to be disciplined. But uh, the, male, uh, the, the main attention will be actually on creative, creating angles, feminine angles, feminine movement, uh, 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 creativity on uh, uh, starting from uh, uh, usage of your fingers, your wrists, your elbows, and so on. Yeah? The approach is more, uh, uh, more creative. Yeah? For the guys, for the guys, I think, first of all, yeah, is a, is a more of a, of a discipline. Yeah? Of course, you can, you can have some sort of a, a, a creative moments, but as you can see, that the um, the base of it is a discipline, yeah, muscular, muscular discipline, yeah, mind discipline, yeah, thought discipline. Okay, okay. So uh, I will show it to you closer. Right, so you can take uh, uh, you can take um, uh, how you say picture or screenshot. Okay, so like this. I think it's gonna be mirroring, but you can change it. Okay. All right. I think you've done it. Okay, guys. So now let's uh, 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 let's talk about it. Um, I'm not going to talk about all the, all the little uh, uh, subject, yeah? but I'm going to talk about, uh, about uh, first of all, what I think is a, a muscular uh, discipline uh, for the male dancer, and then we're going to talk about the uh, creativity uh, from the ladies' side, okay? Um, so first of all, first of all, guys, um, what is one thought I think uh, should be connected to the word discipline? Yeah. So the word discipline should be first of all connected to your uh, uh, to your uh, uh, to your posture. Okay. So first of all, you have to sense you have to sense your back. You have to sense your shoulder blades. Right. Yeah. To which you can see that. Your hand is connected, yeah? Your steps are connected, yeah? To your spine, you can see, yeah? To your spine. So whatever you do and any action that you do is the spine 
is the spine that has to be disciplined in your movement. You can, for example, you can see a lot of things what is happening, for example, towards your hand. Yeah, you can see a lot of that, a lot of that, and a lot of that. And you can see straight away that is not connected at all to my back. And therefore, I cannot be logical with towards my partner if I have, for example, my arm there or my arm there or take it somewhere there, turn away from her and so on. Yeah. I am totally disconnected from my partner. Okay. So if uh, uh, I hope uh, some of you are trying. So first of all, yeah, I have to be disciplined towards my own body, towards my own hand, towards my own uh, legs, towards my own action. Yeah, I have to be logical in my own action. And the lady and the lady being sensual, yeah, being nurturing, yeah, being experiencing the movement of uh, the guy will then probably be able to actually express herself or sense herself because I am not let's say risk taken. <laughs> yeah, let's say uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. So actually uh, with, with here I, I will I will use for example first of all uh, um, um, I will use controlling yeah from my side yeah from the masculine side i will use uh no first of all i will use dominant i will use uh controlling yeah i will use achieving i will use mind i will use logical i will use giving and I'll <laughs> so basically i will use everything uh, uh yeah maybe it sounds funny but yes it is it is so for example dominant okay so dominant yeah so straight away my back yeah because that i don't feel dominant so from here i am dominant i am above my partner okay um uh the the before that is uh controlling right so controlling of okay so straight away i feel uh, I feel my leading hand, yeah? I am being in control of my own arm. I am being in control of, more, of my right arm. I am being in control of my standing leg, and I am being in control of my free leg, which I'm using to breathe my body, okay? So let's, let's for example, uh, try that. Now, Balinski, what are you doing? What are we gonna do? I think, um... I'm gonna do for a receiving for sure. Okay, so and, that is uh, sense. Well, and yeah. So I think adaptable. Adaptable, you know, right, right. So I'm being uh, so uh, with me being dominant, right? So you're gonna adapt, right, to my to my boy. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, we can come closer. Right, so actually I'm being dominant, so Polina, she would like to be adaptable. Right, I'm not sure if you can see, but right, is the spines are now soaking. Right, right, here, correct, yeah? So if we both being dominant, boom. So, oh, that's gonna be stuck, right. So the lady is adapting right to the to the body of the boy okay and uh you said receiving uh, receiving that's uh, probably going to be when when i am uh, walking right towards you okay okay so i am being uh i'm being dominant and controlling right and from here I'm being logical, right? So I give her time, yeah, to be in sensing on the delay walk. And now from here, yeah, I think, uh, well, you can, you can say risk taken, but yeah, probably dominant with my, with my step here, right? 
Now, when we arrive here, M2, right, the one thing which I always see from, uh, from the guys from here, that you lose your back. So here, right. So here what we have to think is about giving both of the sides to the lady. Yeah, feel your left shoulder blade, right? So you see that. So I give my partner a nice base for her, actually for the lady now, being more creative. Uh, Pauline, you cannot see. So two, right. So here the ladies, you can be again more creative. Yeah, you can, you can more, right, you can choose to, uh, uh, do something with the leg action. You can use to uh, maybe do something with the arm. You can uh, choose to look at the audience to overturn it and so on. Yeah, to um, use more of your weight, right? And for the guys, yeah, you have to be again use your mind and to understand that you have to. Um, you have to dance in opposition, right? So from here, I will be giving the sense of the spine towards my partner so she can use that, right? Now three and one, okay? So let's try that again, all right? So there, and I use my mind. I'm being logical through my actions. I place, I feed myself for, first of all from my back leg. And I place my lady and I give her the opportunity to finish her action there. All right? Okay? Now also, uh, for example, uh, going into, into fan. Yeah? Going into fan. Yeah? First of all, uh, if we're talking about, for example, logical move, movement uh, for the uh, for the boys, for the boys, yeah, I see a lot of going back, yeah. So first of all, the position here is diagonal, yeah. So you see, uh, we are actually um, inviting the lady, inviting the lady into here. Now, from here, when we replace, yeah, I have to be in control of where my lady is, yeah? So my, my body turn is towards my partner, right? So I always uh, been in control of my center towards my arm, okay? So it's not going the arm to the side, right? So I always invite the lady, invite the lady with my spine. Okay, so if I go there, no, then I will have to use the arm. Okay, so here the direction is diagonal. She's going with me. Now, we're both doing forward walk turning and then we're feeding of each other, right? And I finish and then I let her finish her movement there. Okay, yeah, so that, that, is, the first, uh, that is the first thing to end now here the guys yeah logical part is you replace on three okay giving time for the lady to work through her left side now from here you receive your partner right yeah. with your spine okay so i'm not i'm not here now from here remember that it's a hip twist okay so we again we continue having a nice connection of the spine towards each other, okay? And here again, I'm being dominant. Yeah, I'm not somewhere there, okay? Now, I continue the direction of my spine. I continue the rotation of my spine towards my partner here, okay? So first of all, that is, uh, that is one thing that should always be practiced is actually the uh, the logic of your direction and your action okay do that again okay and 
core and one feeding from the back leg. Two, yeah, staying connected with your back leg, okay, so not driving here. And three, replacing here, yeah, inviting the lady towards me. Now, a hip twist. Now, diagonally, yeah, uh, how do you say? Um, inviting the lady, yeah. Not forgetting where she is. Yeah, she is to your left, and four and one. Yeah, she's still there. Okay. Now, for the lady, yeah, if we're talking about creativity, yeah, or first of all, maybe uh, sense, like uh, Paulina said, yeah. Uh, one thing I think that the ladies should practice here is first of all, is that from here you are dragging in, you're drawing in the partner towards you here, right? Okay, so from here you are staying back. Now from here you are directing your body towards your partner here and actually sensing your action of the leg. And, and right here, yeah? Here you are staying with your partner. Yeah, delaying that moment. And then here. Here you can choose, yeah, you can choose, yeah, to over rotate here, right? Yeah. And. Okay. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the fan position. The fan position. Yeah, here. Uh, and I would like to uh, maybe. Uh, okay, let's talk about, for example, achieving. I would like to achieve the closing of the lady. Okay, so again, uh, the moment of where we give and receive. So, for example, a lot of times we see that the action of the boys is together with the ladies. Yes, yeah, so from here, for one and two and three and four. Yeah, you can clearly see that. Right, so I would like to actually achieve with my body a closing of the leg, yeah. And I want her to also swing that leg, yeah. I want her to swing that leg and close it, yeah, at the same time. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again allow her to swing with my action in my right hip and then actually finishing finishing it with the long left side and then and then finishing it with the left hip and already drawing her in so basically it's going to be here now we're going to swing and close ah then i receive her okay and four one two ah three for one. Okay, let's do it again. So from here we arrive four and one. Wait. Now we swing the hip, yeah, that allowing the lady to swing her own hip, her left hip. Okay. Uh, right. Let's do it again. So that. Now, by giving her a clear message from my left side, yeah, here, I'm going to close her. Boom. Yeah. You see, if I do it too much with my left hip, so from here, she swings. If I do it too much with the left hip, you see, I overtake her there. Okay. So I have to understand. Yeah, of course, you have to be adaptable. And actually, most, most girls uh, do, do their job pretty well, I must say. Okay. So from here, I swing the hip, allowing my partner to swing. And then here, I kind of limit her movement, okay? So she can actually feel uh, my side and my arm being here. So I'm not lengthening it yeah i'm not 
driving it somewhere there. I'm limiting my own movement for my lady to understand where she has to be. Now from here, when I, wait, when I finish my action, that's giving her a chance to understand that now is the moment to drive. Okay, so here again, I am being, uh, let's say, uh, dominant, yeah? Giving in the way of, um, uh, in, in the sense of uh, the timing, yeah? So here, tagadagada, ah, chikaga, yeah? That's pretty nice, yeah? Um, I'm being also uh, logical in the way of that I understand that we both here arriving in the hip, yeah? I'm being logical is that my rotation of the hip, yeah, is connected to her rotation of the hip and it should be done at the same time, yeah? So it's not that I'm being there then, yeah? As you can see, the picture is, uh, uh, looks the same, almost, yeah? But again, yeah, as we, uh, yeah, it's not logical, yeah? It's not intellectual, <laughs> let's say, yeah? Okay, so my movement here, my action is connected. I close her and I allow her to finish that and receive, okay? So let's uh, 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 let's try that one more time. Okay. So here, Paulina, uh, would you like to be a little bit more creative there? Yes. Okay. Okay. And boom. Right. You can close it there. A hip to it. And there. And let's go to the side. Keep close and allow her to finish here. Okay. All right. Yeah, Pauline, you want? Okay. Let's try one more time. So that. Wait. Let's do it again. Mm -hmm. So I also want to be, even though the lady here, yeah, she's, of course she has to be creative, but I would also like to be maybe connected or actually maybe even being in control of that action, okay? So, yeah, so again, I'm being logical and trying to connect that with my body here. I'm being very dominant on my legs to give the lady possibility to sense her own legs and then I place her giving her the the moment that she can over rotate her body right here my spine is already towards the lady here okay uh, can you give me uh, uh, understanding that you lift your leg okay then she has a delay walk, right? So then, okay, again, I'm being, trying to be again logical, yeah? So if she moves there, I somehow need to be connected and in control of her action, right? So not that, okay, you girls, you decide to do something and do the leg. No, oh, well, nice leg. So for example, there, 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 and guys, somehow that um, you um, you used to doing something else, and then suddenly the girls even uh, they decide to do like a delay walk, a delay walk, for example, afterwards. So without actually being here, and then jum gum 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 gum. Okay, so they decide to do a delay walk. Yeah. Uh, me, as a, mm, uh, as a male partner, yeah, and I try to be uh, the best one for Polina, yeah, I have to be logical, yeah, and I have to use my mind, okay? 
So if she does, if she does a delay walk, yeah, I have to give her sign. So I have to be logical in my own movement and kind of divide my movement. Right, that and yeah. So I am all the time in control of her action. Okay, so I'm not actually taking any uh, anything away from my partner. Yeah, I'm actually being always um, um, kind of guiding, right? Allowing. Guiding, allowing. Okay, I can also be allowing that I just wait for you. Yeah, so that 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 will also can be uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, guiding, let's say that, yeah, going through that moment with my partner. So I just divide my movement. Ooh, okay, yeah. That 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 is also very um, uh, very important, and also in the uh, in the beginning, when we do um, a bug basic, yeah. So if the lady decides to do a delay walk, a delay walk, I cannot be already driving through uh, through her. Yeah. So I can I can decide that I can maybe I take slowly there, and then with a step, boom, boom, for example, and two. Right, or I do two and three, four. A uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, four, one. Right? Yeah. A lot of you, uh, of course, have uh, going into fan, and uh, you do that with the delay walks. Uh, a lot of you girls actually lift your legs, and then after that, you have. A syncopation, yeah, three, yeah, four, and the two, ah, three, four. You do have that. That is why uh, I would like to also uh, uh, show you some different uh, ways of how you do it. Or, for example, from here, yeah, if the girls, for example, yeah, she sits down, okay, so I have to also kind of. Uh, Again, you see, I am here being adaptable, okay? But actually without losing the dominance in my back, right here, four and one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, one. Okay, so that can also be done. And again, here I use logic, yeah? Is the timing, yeah, mind, yeah, is the timing, and also I take into, uh, into consideration of what my partner is uh, uh, willing to do or wanting to do, because that's, a, that's a, a, another subject of uh, masculine and feminine, yeah? If we take that, so the feminine side is, uh, they actually, they need to be creative. And actually it's, um, it's our job to allow them to be creative. Otherwise, if we, for example, sometimes stand, boom, boom, yeah, and don't move, not one centimeter to the left, not to the right, yeah? That is not uh, a very nice approach, okay? So, and again, if we, uh, it's not very intellectual, let's say, okay? So, for example, yeah, if the lady decides to go down, I allow her, right? I dance her leg, okay. I dance that delay walk. I allow her and I place her, right. I finish her. Yeah. I allow her to use my body. And I understand that that is a delay walk and juku, and she has to be on her leg. And that she swings, she closes. And then she's been there. She's still there, she's still there. She's still there. Right. Yeah. 
that's actually uh, another another part which I also feel that uh, you guys always mm, not being very thoughtful to your action or to the action of the ladies actually when you do a lot of things like this yeah so for example from here if the lady is finishing let's say to the side yeah, so she's there yeah? so she's finishing here yeah then she has a rotation okay because i have to understand that how is she's going to maneuver right from one leg to the other she's not gonna stand only here and just close the leg boom okay yeah and yeah she's there right and i'm gonna finish so you see from here i keep my spine connected to my lady and then i feel the timing of when she's finishing to the leg and ready to drive that is when i gonna finish her. okay so you see a lot of these things happening Tada. yeah so again i uh, even if we take uh, you guys yeah you lost completely control of your body yeah you're not logical in connection in direction to your lady yeah you're not very thoughtful meaning that you're not really using your mind that you are dancing towards your legs yeah towards your ladies and you don't understand your timing to finish them yeah okay so maybe we try yeah so we go into back basic yeah open hip twist yeah uh, uh sorry fan there yeah into again hip twist and then and again into fan position yeah let's say so from here yeah she's going down she leaves the leg I'm still being dominant, I'm still being in control of my legs. And boom, here I drive her, I go through the replace, being in control of my spine. I control that delay walk. Ooh, I finish, I allow. We breathe that, I'm still connected and okay yes well hopefully uh, uh okay <laughs> uh hopefully many of you have uh, uh some space actually to try um but again uh we're talking about uh common uh used uh steps uh and i'm sure the uh rumba basic uh for all of you should be uh kind of a must do exercise yeah the rumba basic yeah because to actually understand uh how your body works how your timing works yeah and uh, uh uh, basically the message uh, which we try to uh, give to you yeah is that guys um, we have to be uh, initiative I'm not saying that the ladies are not initiative on in some moments but most of the times yeah we are being initiative yeah you have to discipline yeah, you have to have discipline and uh, when we are talking about discipline uh, we are talking about discipline of your action okay uh, discipline of your and your partner's timing yeah let's start to actually finding out the timing which you are doing and the timing which your lady is doing yeah that is already a great start i think okay um uh we are uh talking about uh, uh from the feminine side yeah we we talk about uh, uh sensing 
uh, if we're talking about sensing uh, everything again. Oh. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, it's again uh, uh, comes from from the action. Yeah, if we if we talk about the uh, the the, uh, the sensual or uh, movement of your hands, right, is also a discipline, right, of your action, right. Yeah, it's also a discipline of your action. Okay, uh, girls, uh, I think uh, of what I see. Uh, a lot you should please be not uh, please don't be scared of uh, being more creative yeah especially when you are giving the time yeah for example at this beginning yeah when you're going down when you lift your leg for example there being creative through the whole of your body yeah basically from toe to the tips of your fingers, okay? Because that is the only way your partner will feel your movement, yeah? A lot of times I can see that you are trying maybe lift the leg or bend your body, but actually for me as a male dancer, for me to be able to be in control of that action or, um, uh, or be... Uh, um, yeah, being in control, being actually with you in that moment, yeah, being in that moment of the delay with you, the whole body, the whole every centimeter of your body should be talking to me, right? So then I could feel, yeah, yes. So actually the girls of what I said at the beginning, that discipline also is for you, the same as for us, yeah? Uh, okay, I think, uh, I think that's about it. Uh, I hope uh, from our side, we uh, managed to maybe plant a little uh, seed in your uh, brains and uh, maybe it gave you some thoughts of understanding uh, or actually more clarify uh, what is uh, uh, masculine or what is feminine and uh, uh, how to actually use it how to actually use it what does it mean okay so hopefully uh, we uh, managed to uh, make it a little bit more clear for you uh, and uh, uh, of course, first of all, we would like to uh, thank uh, all of the participants that taken part in all the uh, all the lectures, uh, which is a great opportunity for for you to learn from the uh, greatest uh, teachers uh, all over the world, actually being at home or in your own studio. And uh, uh, second of all, I would like to thank the uh, WBC Amateur League for actually giving us the opportunity to give a lecture for you guys today and uh, uh, you guys doing a great thing and i'm sure it's helping a lot of uh, kids or adults a lot around the world uh, in uh, not an easy uh, time for us but uh, uh, we all taking uh, this time yeah for uh, achieving our goals yeah maintaining us in top form giving us some knowledge so actually when we meet again you're all gonna be fabulous okay guys so uh thank you very much yeah we give you a little bow <laughs> thank you very much and uh see you soon <laughs>